I'm not saying things are going to repeat. I, I, I just can't say that. But these four-year cycles, we talk about those ad nauseum. Watch any of my videos in the last like four months. I've been talking about it all the time. Um, this is what's happened before. The only thing that really concerns me is that everybody else knows the four-year cycles. And everybody else cycles, cycles. And everybody else knows uh, the technicals. And everybody's looking at the, at the same chart. So maybe they are just going to go, you know what, we're going to dump it. But in my personal opinion, never underestimate greed. I think the whales have a pretty good setup. They're riding a gravy train with biscuit wheels. All they got to do is pump it a little bit and then watch people buy like crazy and then crash it again if they wanted to. And then all the people who don't understand uh, these, this whole process will sell and then they will buy back at a lower price. And they can just keep doing <laughs> And this until infinity. Unless people like me and you just say, you know what? Um, you can sell. You can get out. Your goal is not my goals. I'm going to hang on. I think it's going to do pretty well. I'm just an investor. I'm not a trader. So that's it for me. Here's five examples. And this is looking back in 2017. Actually, let me blow this up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So... When we talk about these corrections, and we just saw a pretty big correction, right? 65,000 down to 52. Whoa. Well, take a look at this. So when we're taking a look at these different price points, in 2017, Bitcoin spent 267 days in an upward trend and only about 100 in a downward. So since 2021, I mean, since 21, since January 1st, 2021, how have we been doing? Pretty damn good, I think. I think we went from uh, around 30, 29,000, 30,000, then the 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. And now here we are in a little bit of a, uh, of a retracement. And that's exactly what happened in 2017. And if I took a look at the charts uh, in 2013, when there was an also other massive bull run, it was the same thing. So we're taking a look at this. This is just history, rhyming, repeating, whatever else you want to say. So the average time Bitcoin spent uptrend was around 50 days. All right. Not too bad. So what about this? Corrections are normal. Well, again, it's the same thing. In 2017, Bitcoin experienced five major corrections. The shortest retrace took only three days and the longest lasted over a damn month. So if you take a look at these bars, this is 21 days. This one here is 34 days. That's a heck of a long time. That's, you know, that's pretty big. Then 12 days here, only three days here, and then 15 days here at the very top. Uh, we're looking at 31 December, 2017. And that's pretty much when it went down a lot more after that. But I mean, look at this. Three days. All right. 34 days. And I just want to remind everybody, where are we? You know where we're at? We're right here. We're, we're, we're over here in April, right? And again, could, could a lot of institutions and uh, the big whales and big players go, you know what? I'm done playing. I think I'm going to pull out. I don't like making all this. Maybe. Uh Maybe they're just tired. They're just like, you know, we want to, you know, get out of here. And uh, that could potentially be the case. I don't personally think it is. And um, only time will tell if I'm correct or incorrect. But, uh, you know, as, as the price, if the price went down today, I've already done a little bit of my exit strategy because these are the early price points. I would be okay with it, honestly, if it went, if it went this way. I just don't see it happening. Anyhow, let's, uh, let me close up and we'll finish this out. So again, shortest retrace, only three days. Here was the interesting part. Every quarter or end of quarter, EOQ sees at least one strong Bitcoin correction. So again, right before April, he saw a correction. And then right before, uh, what is this, July or so? April, May, June, July. Yeah, he saw the correction. Then around October. And then, of course, uh, the end of December. And I always talked about how... I. April is statistically not a really great month or actually, yeah, it's not a really great month for Bitcoin and crypto. And I always said it's because, I mean, just part of the reason is because in the US, we have to pay taxes on April 15th, all of us. And if we owe, like me, I got to pay taxes. However, it got pushed back to May 15th. So you never know. Uh, people have to sell off. I have to sell off some a little bit of crypto to pay for these taxes. Not much this time, thank God. But uh, that's what's going to happen. Anyhow, the only quarter that saw only one strong Bitcoin correction in 2017 was quarter two. We saw a pretty big, huge retracement. And this is the big one. I don't really care about this one. Five, corrections tended to be tend to be 30% to 40% deep. That's pretty big. Think about that. 
in one of the biggest bull runs in crypto history, I mean, besides 2013, now we're, we're coming up to here, you were looking on average of between 29 to 40%, uh, or sorry, it was between 29 and 40% and the average was 35%. That were the corrections. So when we take a look at all this and we take a look and say, well, what's going on? What's happening? Well, we talked about what happened and we talked about everything that happened over the weekend and it could be pretty big. Now it's up to you for, for you to decide. And again, I, I believe that, uh, you know, when you're sitting there watching me, I'm just one person in the whole ecosphere of information of where you should get your information from. Uh, don't just take my words for gospel, but uh, I would just tell you my personal opinion is as such. These, these institutions and these big players and these whales, uh, I think they believe that this is going to go on for quite some time. They're going to be playing different people who actually get in and get out, uh, and they're going to be making a lot of money. Do you really think I always think about this. I don't really think that these 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 big players are like I'm content with just these three months that we had to really you know do our <laughs> do all our damage and whatnot. I think um, that they're probably going to be like, well, everybody knows about the four year cycles. Everybody knows about the uh, TA and the charts. The only thing that I think of is that they might start to crash things a little bit before a December, before a November. But at that point. Um, I have my exit strategy in place. If you want to watch the video, I'll link it at the very end. You should be sitting pretty, you know, very nice. And just like we just talked about with that statement before uh, from the Rothschild, I never sell at the top and I never buy at the very bottom. We're never going to hit the absolute tops. We're never going to buy at the absolute bottoms. But I do believe that there's a lot of room to run. All right, so that's it for today. Hopefully that uh, gives you some direction about what's going on. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. And that's it for, for this one. Um, I'll probably do a live stream tonight, so I'll see you on the next one.